Hello everyone, uh, this is Sher Yar Murtaza from Canada. Uh, I'll start with my profile introduction. So I have uh, received a PhD in Computer Science from the University of Western Ontario, which is located in Canada. And I got my bachelor's in Computer Science from the University of Karachi, which is located in Pakistan. Uh, currently, I'm working as a senior uh, data scientist at uh, Manulife Financial, which is a global investment insurance organization, having offices in uh, uh, many countries uh, across Asia, Europe, and North America. Uh, and I also work as, a, as an adjunct uh, faculty member at Ryerson University, uh, which is all, also located in Toronto, Canada. So, and over there, I currently teach uh, uh, introduction to big data, natural language processing, and uh, basics of deep learning. Okay, so uh, I'll start with uh, three of my projects uh, that I would like to talk about today. Uh, the first project is on detection of uh, malicious uh, software behavior uh, on a Linux operating system. Uh, I worked uh, on this project with Defense Research and Development Canada and I built an open source application for them uh, uh, which is uh, an uh, Eclipse plugin. If you know Eclipse, Eclipse is a Java based IDE and the purpose of this application was to monitor Linux operating system and how the user is actually using that operating system. So for example, uh, uh, we would collect uh, operating system traces like what system calls are being made when you're opening a browser and uh, if you're using a word processor, so what are the other system calls being made and then we collect that information. So that, that information is called a uh, trace. And then uh, we would uh, train um, a machine learning algorithm on that trace. So I uh, basically uh, built that application which uh, was monitoring Linux operating system uh, from a remote uh, remote machine and, and was monitoring the normal behavior of the user and the, uh, the uh, algorithm, machine learning algorithms that I use were hidden Markov model, sequence matching algorithm and uh, I also publish uh, a uh, couple of algorithms myself on this topic uh, so I use those two algorithms as well and then uh, finally uh, the purpose of this application was to detect any sort of uh, malicious behavior that would occur uh, during the use of the operating of the system so this malicious behavior is usually abnormal behavior which is like deviation from the normal uh, use of the application so uh, there are a few research papers on this topic as well uh, that I publish. Then the next uh, one that I want to talk about uh, is uh, on the bank or the financial uh, data set. Uh, in, the, in the financial domain, uh, uh, like people have investment accounts. Uh, they have bank accounts. So what happened is that, you know, we were, I was uh, monitoring the behavior of uh, the individual accounts. How are they, how are the transactions taking place? Like if you are, if you have an account, you would be just doing transactions on to like common places and all of a sudden, uh, commonly known places and all of a sudden there is an email transfer to an unknown place. So there is some sort of suspicious activity going on or there would be new bank accounts which will be trying to deposit fake checks by them, uh, themselves because everything is today automated uh, everything is being done through mobile applications or through web or through direct or it can or checks can be deposited through atms as well so uh, people would try to deposit fake checks or people would open new accounts steal someone else's money put it into, into that account and then send it somewhere else uh, quickly so you may have heard about these things uh, in the news as well okay so uh, the purpose of this application was to uh, detect these sort of uh, malicious or abnormal activities uh, within the financial uh, uh, financial uh, transactions or uh, within the bank accounts and so uh, over here, I use big data technologies like uh, Spark, Hadoop, and application was developed using Python. And uh, 
and then the machine learning algorithms that I use were isolation forest, uh, local outlier factor, and then the K-means algorithm. And then there are a few more uh, that we uh, use and uh, combine them uh, using ensemble methods. And then, uh, uh, so this is, was a very uh, interesting uh, project and uh, we were, we are continuously detecting uh, fraudulent activities. As you know, like uh, when, wherever there is money, uh, and humans are together, then there are frauds. Okay, uh, the third project is uh, that I want to talk about is on natural language uh, processing. Uh, so uh, the, the objective of this project or the problem of this project is as follows. Uh, you are making, let's say you are subscribed to a, uh, subscribe to a, more, to a phone, subscri phone service provider uh, or you have an internet service provider and you are facing some sort of problems and then what would you would do you would call that service provider and uh, and you would uh, you know pro tell them about your problem and try to get uh, to a conclusion so uh, uh, what ha what is ha what happens is that like your transcripts or your call when you were making a phone call that call is being transcribed into some sort of text automatically and the purpose of the my uh, project was to automatically detect uh, after the transcript has been created like what is the main problem that the user was talking about so a uh, user could talk about many things sometimes the phone calls can be very long there could be pauses so no one would like to read like you know uh, such long transcripts. So what are the main problems that users are talking about? Uh, what is their question? And then uh, from there, once the questions are extracted, we can make, you know, further automated uh, decision making, like what are the common problems going on, how to solve them uh, for that company. So in this, uh, uh, in this project, I used a conditional random field uh, algorithm. I train a conditional random field algorithm on the call transcripts uh, uh, which I already had and then once the model was built from those transcripts I used that model to automatically uh, detect the questions uh, and uh, or uh, the statements which are related to the problems about uh, about the particular phone call okay so these are the three different uh, projects uh, uh, and uh, uh, I hope that they have given you a good example of uh, the application of data science and uh, machine learning. Thank you.